over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. And that's Robin Hood. Now, he lived in a forest a long, long time ago. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, Jeffy, who's that old dressed in black? That's Dick Turpin, George. Now, he was a highwayman. He lived a long time after Robin Hood. A highwayman? Yes, he used to steal things from people as they rode through the forest. Oh, what a naughty man. He was, George, a very naughty man. Who's <laughs> naughty? Ooh, Dick uh, Tony, Zippy, he was a highwayman and he used to take things from other people for himself. Oh, dear. I know, let's tell a story all about a highwayman. <laughs> You can be the highwayman, George. Oh, no, Zippy, I don't want to be a naughty highwayman. Yeah, well, I'm going to be Zippy the Good, and I'll catch Naughty Dick Turnip. Eh? I suppose you want me to be the Naughty Dick Turnip, do you? Uh, yes. Oh, would, you, would you please, Zippy? Yes, all right then, George. Now, what would Dick Turnip wear? Oh, he'd wear a big black cloak, wouldn't he? One like this. What does that look like? Is that good? Right. Oh, and you need a funny shaped hat as well. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, and a hanky. You need a hanky. What, 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 what does Dick Turnip want a hanky for? Has he got a cold? <laughs> Don't be silly, George. The hanky is to hide his face so no one will be able to see who he is. That's right, Zippy, like this. Oh, and a horse. I need a horse. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Zippy, you can use that broom over there. <laughs> Turn it upside down. Right. <laughs> now, brush can be the horse's head. <laughs> you can call him uh, Sweeper. <laughs> oh, now we can start our story of Dick Turnip, the highwayman. <laughs> You're a highwayman. You ride through the night while the moon and stars are shining bright. Your cloak is black, but your horse is white. You're a highwayman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going up to London with Rod and Freddy. We're going to sing before the king. <coughs> Here comes my father, Baron Bungle Warren. I'm pretending to be Baron Bungle Warren. Hello, father. Listen to me, my dear. If you're going to London town to sing before the king, you'll need a fine necklace to wear with those pretty clothes. Oh, but I haven't got a fine necklace. Don't worry, my dear. I've got a beautiful necklace for you to wear. It was your mother's favourite. Uh, there you are. Oh. I made it, really, from some old mill bottle tops and a piece of string. Oh, thank you, my dear, dear father. It's beautiful. You take good care of it and don't lose it. And be very careful. Watch out for that naughty highwayman, Dick Turnip, on your way to London town. Oh, yes, father. But don't worry. Rod and Freddy are coming with me. They'll look after me. Off you go then, my dear, and have a safe journey. Thank you, Father. Goodbye. Goodbye. He's a highway when he rides through the night while the moon and stars are shining bright. His slope is black when his horse is white. He's a highway man. I've heard that Lady Jane's travelling to London today to sing before the king. Oh, if only I could get my hands on the famous Bungle Warren necklace, then I'd be rich. Come along then, Sweeper. Let's go and hide in Rainbow Forest, cos they're bound to go that way. Whee! He's a highwayman, he rides through the night, while the moon and stars are shining bright. His cloak is black, but his horse is white. He's a highwayman. This is my coach. There are two white horses pulling it, Freddy's the driver at the front, and Rod's the footman behind. Coachman, drive on! Very good, my lady. Giddy up, come on, giddy up there. We're now going through the Rainbow Forest. This is the most dangerous part of the journey. Why is it dangerous? Well, because my lady, James, it said that the naughty highwayman Dick turn it right through this part of the forest, looking for people to take things from. Oh, but don't you worry, my lady. We're here to protect you. Come on now, giddy up there. <laughs> He's a highway 
moment be right Soon in night while the moon and stars are shining bright He's cloaky black with his horses white He's a highway man Yes, I can hear the Bungle Warren coast now. It's coming this way. Soon that necklace will be mine. All mine. <laughs> he's a highwayman. He rides through the night while the moon and stars are shining bright. His cloak is black, but his horse is white. He's a highwayman. Well, my lady, we're nearly through the rainbow forest and we're safe and sound. Ha <laughs> ha! Just in time. <laughs> Whoa, Coxman! Stand and deliver! Whoa! Oh, it's Naughty Dick Turnip, the highwayman! Coachman, why have we stopped? Step out of the coach, my lady, and you won't be harmed. Oh, dear! My necklace! Just as I thought, the necklace! Hand over the necklace, my lady! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Oh, go on, please. No, oh, all right, then. I am Zippy the Good. Just on my way through the forest, looking for good things to do. Oh, what do I see? That naughty Dick Turnip, the highwayman, holding up Lady Jane's coach. I'm just in time. Not so fast, Dick Turnip. Stay exactly where you are. Rod, Freddy, arrest him. Right. Oh, gotcha. Got <laughs> oh, thank you, Zippy the Good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's all right, my lady. Now we must take Dick Turnip to court to see what Judge George has to say. Come on. <laughs> I'm Judge George. I'm going to decide what happens to Naughty Dick Turnip. <laughs> Judges wear wigs like this. Jeffy made it for me with the insides of toilet rolls and some sticky tape. <laughs> there you are. Silence in court! Silence in court! Bring, bring Dick Turnip here. Everyone else sit down. Uh, here is the necklace, Judge George. Oh. Here's Dick Turnip, the naughty highwayman. Ooh, now, let me see. Uh, oh, is this the famous Bungle Warren necklace? Uh, mm. Yes, Judge George. I gave it to my daughter to wear when she sings before the king. Oh, isn't it nice? Yes, <laughs> good. Good. Uh, yes, uh, yes, Judge George. Nothing, Zippy. I wasn't calling Zippy the good. I was just saying good, good. Oh, no, I, I'm sorry, Judge George. <laughs> Silence in court. Silence in court. Silence in Who's making that banging noise? You are, Your Honor. What? What? Oh, am I? Oh, oh, oh. Silence in court. Now, then, let me see. Where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, good. Uh, Good. 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 Zippy, I am calling you now. Did you see Dick Turnip holding up the coach? Oh, yes, Judge George. And he had the necklace in his hand. Oh, well, Dick Turnip, what have you got to say for yourself, eh? 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 Nothing, Your Honour, except that I'm very, very sorry. I, I won't do it again. I should think not. You've been very naughty. <coughs> You're a highwayman. You ride through the night while the moon and stars are shining bright. Your cloak is black, but your horse is white. You're a... What is it now? Oh, oh, thank you. You're a highwayman. <laughs> thank you, thank you. The silence in court. Now then, Jeffrey, give Lady Jane her necklace back and take off your hat and cloak because you've been so naughty you must clean up the rainbow house. There's a broom in the corner. Please start... Straight away, yes. Yes, Your Honour. Thank you, Judge George, and thank you, Zippy the Good. Oh, yes. It's wonderful to have my beautiful necklace back. 
Would you like to hear our song before we sing it for the king? Oh, yes, please. Oh, the silence in court. Lady Jane, Rod and Freddy, please sing your song. We'll tell you the tale of a highwayman. Turnip was his name. They never called him Parsnip. It wasn't quite the same. He'd ride the roads of England, and all that he did was bad. So you'd hear them say as he rode away, Dick's a naughty lad, with a hey and a ho and a nonny nonny no, with a hey ho, nonny nonny no. Deep in the rainbow forest, turnip lay in wait. He wasn't looking happy, the coach was always late. But when at last it came in sight, he stood there bold and reckless and said those cold and frightening words. What a pretty necklace with a hey and a ho and a nonny nonny no, with a hey ho, nonny nonny no. It was on that day in the month of May that the highwayman was caught and no one there was happier than Turnip's famous horse. For Zippy, who'd been looking for something good to do, sneaked up from behind and put a turnip in the stew. With a hey and a ho and a nonny nonny no, with a hey ho, nonny nonny no. And so that famous highwayman was taken off to court. They made him take his mask off, and just as they had fought, the reason why he'd worn it, the nasty little fellow, was because he'd never cleaned his teeth. And most of them were yellow, with a hey and a ho, and a nonny nonny no, with a hey ho, nonny nonny no, with a hey and a ho, and a nonny nonny no, with a hey ho, nonny nonny no. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank, oh, thank you, you very much. much. Yes, thank you. Jeffrey, <laughs> you may stop sweeping now. <laughs> oh, thank you, George. It's time to go now. Yes. Why don't you pretend to be Dick Turpin? You could have a pretend horse from a broom, couldn't you, like this? And then make up your own little story about a highwayman. See you soon. Take care, won't you? Bye-bye. It wasn't quite the same. He'd ride the roads of England, and all that he did was bad. So you'd hear them say as he rode away, Dick's a naughty lad, with a hey and a ho, and a nonny nonny no, with a hey ho, nonny nonny no. Deep in the rainbow forest, Turnip lay in wait. He wasn't looking happy. The coach was always late. But when at last it came in sight, he stood there bold and reckless and said those cold and frightening words. What a pretty necklace with a hey and a ho and a nonny nonny no, with a hey ho, nonny nonny no. It was on that day in the month of May that the highwayman was caught and no one there was happier than Turnip's famous horse. For Zippy, who'd been looking for something good to do, sneaked up from behind and put a turnip in the stew. With a hey and a ho and a nonny nonny no, with a hey ho, nonny nonny no, with a hey ho, nonny nonny no. 